Excellent. So I'm Brendan Erie from Oculus VR, and we're here uh, with several bits of news to share, which is really exciting. The first uh, that we announced, um, Epic actually put out a little earlier, a few days ago, that we're part of the Integrated Partners Program for Unreal Engine 4. But what we're here to show is Oculus fully integrated in Unreal Engine 4, running 60 FPS in the Elemental demo. Uh, in the past, Epic has shown the Elemental demo on, uh, like, for instance, PlayStation 4, and it was part of their announcement um, when they announced the, the PS4. But it was more of a cinematic, uh, you know, re real-time, runtime engine, but a cinematic experience. Working with us, they made it actually an explore, an explorable world that you can actually go around and you can really go inside of and you can explore in VR, um, which is really exciting at 60 FPS. So we've been working really closely with Epic to finish that, and we have that here that you can demo for the first time uh, running at E3. So why don't we jump you inside? Um, let me just uh, check and make sure. <laughs> And our, and our test pilot for this, uh, <laughs> this demo is uh, Jeff Kress, one of the members of Guild Armor. So this is uh, this actually seems to be running a little bit slower, but I'm going to just go into this pretty quick because we want to get you into the next uh, demo. So without restarting it too much, you'll put it on. So now look around, so look left, look up and down. And, you, know, you are in this virtual experience. <laughs> so how do you feel? <laughs> Feels pretty good. Uh, Are you nauseous at all? On the floor? Oh, he's giving you a oh. controller. So here's the controller. So um, <laughs> look, look, uh, look to your left a little bit, and then walk forward with a controller. Yeah, and you can look at the lava. <laughs> <laughs> you can go up to that. Uh, look at that guy. Yeah. Sugar. <laughs> so you get a real sense of scale and size. Yeah. So what do you think? It's pretty spectacular. Now do the things in the distance actually. So now if you pull this trigger. <laughs> So it's a lot of fun. Why don't we show you what we also have here at E3 that we're revealing for the first time, which is an HD prototype. This is 720p resolution, and we've said from the beginning that the dev kit was going to be lower res than the consumer one, and we just wanted to get it out there in everybody's hands as fast as possible to make content. All the content that developers have made will transfer right over without any modification Perfect. to HD. And HD really brings the experience to life. So if, uh, if we can hop you out of here for a second. Now, is that also a function of Oculus instead of really a function of what the developers are doing in terms of the HD? Because the HD, I'm assuming, is coming from the device. It is. Okay. It's a function of Oculus. Um, this is using a 720p screen. Mm -hmm. So it's actually 1280 by 800 single panel where we divide it in half okay. uh, so you get 640 by 800 per eye left and right eye your eyes kind of in your brain you know fuse them back together and you're getting somewhere around some kind of a you know six to eight hundred by you know resolution um, and, and it's pretty good but it, overall you know it's overall a little bit low res you can see the pixelation yeah you can see the pixelation you can see some of what is considered the screen door effect right. where you see the black lines in between the pixels mm -hmm. Because we are magnifying the uh, the screen in there. Um, if you hop over here to the HD side, let's switch the guys out real quick. So tag out. Now we've got Enrique Hernandez. Well, why don't you um, jump in and do the demo in HD, sitting yeah. here? Sorry. So where do you want me to go? You can hop over here. Okay. I'll move. So if you're able to step over there without... Uh, well, actually, if he goes here, is yep. he going to be able to see the video? 
Do you want to move the camera over here? We can. We totally yeah. can. For a quick shot? Sure. So, tell me when you're ready. Okay, so, so now we're getting ready to test out the HD version of the Oculus Rift, which yes. is uh, being announced here at E3. As a prototype. As a this prototype. Not available yet. Um, this is going to be one of the features of the consumer unit. So we've said from the beginning it was going to be higher resolution. We wanted to show up here at E3 and confirm that and give people a taste of what HD VR is all about. And, well, you, you tell. You see what you think. And, and the, can the developers oh, yeah. get this, though, right now in, for, in the SDK version? Uh, this is not available yet. Um, okay. I can loosen this up a little bit if you like. So. Okay, so when you were saying available, uh, you just What do you think about that? Version. Yeah, this is much improved. I mean, it was good before, but this is, this is really spectacular. Pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> See all the snowflakes? Yeah, it's, it's very impressive. So the resolution is much less of a problem now. Now we, you know, yeah. we kind of solved resolution. It's of course it'll always get better. It always can get better right. than this, but that's no longer one of the biggest uh, challenges. Um, the next is going to be well. There's some other things that we're working on. And sure, so sure. here, and if you take a um, controller, now we walk up to that guy again, the in the lava room. If you go back to him, you can get up. Go to your left, I guess. Oh, no, he, he's looking at a different. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We, we're not seeing his view that you now. Are you? And you can pull that pull that right trigger. <laughs> so now, uh, how does he, now how does he look? Oh, he looks much better. Yeah. Much better. Now, where's the sound coming from? And that's just uh, these speakers back here. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and we have speakers on, I think, on the TV, maybe. Um, People are using their own headphones, and it, you know the headphone business is not the business we're in. Right. So we're staying out of that right now. Five minutes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no, this is a uh, pretty cool. Really cool. Man. So um, if we take you out for one second, if you pull sure. that off, we have one more fun demo to show. <clears throat> so that was Unreal Engine 4 in HD. If we. Uh, Hop out here. Think you can play that? Yeah. Resolution? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, are there any problems with, with folks with uh, glasses uh, putting the rift on? Uh, no, we're we're uh, setting it up so it should be. So you can. There's wear. like a cavity in there, big enough. Exactly. Okay. Right now, on the dev kit, you can wear glasses on it, and we're looking at on um, you know future versions of it. Can we get it to a point where? Um, you don't need your glasses. So we're, we're still doing a lot of R&D. Oh, That's wow. one of the features, <laughs> cool. you know, that we're looking at. Um, there's all kinds of things. What is VR input? So, um, put that on. No, no, you see a logo starting up? Yep. Yep. So now you're in a theater. So this is VR cinema. Oh, wow. And this is kind of a fun... <laughs> So, so, so basically, <laughs> it, it it's almost like you don't even need like a 16 screen at home. You just or a whole theater. Yeah, exactly. You have like the true theater experience. You can have an IMAX in your home. You could put the screen wherever you want. You can have the, sh the theater shaped whatever you want. You could have your friends you could look around, see your friends in the theater with you. Yep. Um, you could lay in bed, look up, and put the theater above you. You know, I mean, you'll be able to configure this any way you want. This is made by uh, an indie developer in the community using Unity, and they just put together this VR cinema app. And when we stumbled on it, we were blown away by this whole new category of entertainment that's going to be created. What do you think? Yeah, it's really good. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah, now, definitely. Now, have you had a lot of other companies approach you to try to look at other things? Because I've recently, and I don't know how long it's been out, because it's been so the Omni. 
We have. We've been approached by a number of different companies. I'll turn this back down as we can. How you doing in there? Good. Good. So uh, again, as this thing gets more consumer ready, you can imagine people watching for you know a few hours. You can have stereo 3D movies. So you can have full right. Avatar 3D. You can even take it a step further and say, I'm watching. You know, maybe it's just a trailer for a movie that's a stereo 3D movie, and then suddenly I'm sitting in the theater, and all of a sudden the theater kind of melts away or goes away, and I'm you know I look down and I'm over top of the spaceship below me as part of the trailer. I mean, you can extend out and make that 3D movie trailer even become a VR movie trailer right, and right. really do stuff with the real time 3D space that you're looking around in. So there's a lot of opportunities to do some crazy stuff. So, so here's the question I know that you're well trained on probably avoiding. Yeah. Uh, what year are you at least targeting for a release? Are you looking like a 2016, 2015 kind of thing or is this you, something you're you trying did. to yeah. Or is yeah. this something you're looking at trying to do relatively um, short term? So uh, you had two questions, which was what beyond gaming is there um, and who's approached us? A lot of medical, military, architecture. Yeah, I um, definitely see that. And so this was, yeah. Um, so we've been approached by tons of people. I mean, medical uh, training, surgical training for medical students at $300 you know, per unit. You can imagine a whole new category of customers there where it's accessible enough at three hundred dollars and high enough resolution it's that steel you can have really. incredible, you know, uh, medical training apps for for students. I, no critical, <laughs> mission critical. Right. I don't want anybody operating on me with a Oculus headset for a little while. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but you know, for training in a big way, and that goes across architectural and military. And so, when is that all going to be available to the consumer? Which is what you asked. Um, we really don't know yet because we're still solving problems. Just like the resolution was a problem we had to solve. Right now, we feel like it's solved. Now we're going on to the next set of problems. There's uh, a lot of people wonder what is input, right? And this is uh, the game controller is console input on a 2D screen that's a little further away. Keyboard and mouse is computer input where a screen is kind of sitting in front of you. Touch uh, on a mobile device is for a mobile uh, solution that's kind of mobile input. What is VR input? That's a big thing that we're looking at. So we want to solve some of those problems before we come out with the full consumer product. We also need to uh, clean it up, tighten it up, you know, form factor wise, optical wise, there's a whole set of human factors, challenges that we're trying to just get it as comfortable and accessible as possible. So it's not many years away, but it's, um, it, you know, it's at least many months away, um, you can imagine. And we really, we don't know. We have ideas in mind, but we just don't know when it, all those problems are going to be solved. Um, but thankfully, the screens are now available and that's checked off. So. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hope you enjoy.